We all know how ChatGPT can write like a human, but can ChatGPT think like a human? More specifically, does ChatGPT have social intelligence? In this video, you're going to find out the answer. Remember to watch till the end. First of all, to answer the question, we should understand how ChatGPT is trained. It is fine-tuned from a large language model called GPT 3.5, and GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. For your reference, GPT 3 is trained with 449 billion tokens coming from all sources of tax databases and corpora, and has 175 billion parameters. In other words, GPT 3 has immense amounts of knowledge. But it is not an encyclopedia. It is in fact a deep learning model called Transformer, which involved self-supervised training. And ChatGPT is fine-tuned on GPT 3.5 with supervised learning which involved human feedback. Now, when it comes to human learning of social intelligence, it is not something you'll find in a school curriculum. Children pick up the social and communication skills through interacting with others. Of course, throughout the process, parents and teachers will likely play a role by providing corrective feedback. Now we know that ChatGPT was trained with massive data and with reinforcement learning from human feedback. Can ChatGPT automatically develop social intelligence? I'm going to probe into this issue by drawing references to theory of mind from psychology. You will find the links to these papers in the description below. In a nutshell, theory of mind refers to the ability to understand, reason, and infer the intents, feelings, and mental states of others. In simpler terms, can ChatGPT put itself into other shoes and predict how other people will think, feel, or react? Traditionally, psychologists use the Sally N test to examine children's theory of mind. The story is like, Sally has a basket and Anne has a box. Sally puts a marble in her basket and leaves the room. While Sally is away, Anne takes the marble from the basket and hides it in her box. Now Sally returns to the room and she wants to play with the marble. Where will Sally look for her marble? This is one type of questions that can be asked in a Sally N test. There are other types of questions that can be asked including factual questions and mental state questions. In this video, I focus on the mental state questions aka the mind questions. First order belief is the ability to infer to the agent's belief. The question will look like where will A look for O? Second order belief is the ability to infer belief about belief. The question will look like, where does B believe A will look for O? True belief are stories where a participant was present when an object was moved, and false beliefs are stories where a participant was absent when an object was moved. Feel free to pause or take a screenshot before moving on. For each type of mind question and belief valid combination, I have asked ChatGPT a question. Altogether, there are four scenarios. Let's dive right in and see how ChatGPT responded to each scenario. Note that the responses were generated using ChatGPT version updated on January 9. The first scenario is about first order true belief. Recall the question, where will A look for O? Sylvia entered the laundry. Benjamin entered the laundry. The jeans is in the basket. Sylvia moved the jeans to the box. Benjamin exited the laundry. Where will Benjamin look for the jeans? The correct answer should be the box. Since Benjamin exited the laundry after Sylvia moved the jeans from the basket to the box, so his last memory of the location of the jeans is the box. 
Let's see how ChatGPT responded to it. Benjamin would look for the jeans in the basket because that's where the jeans were before Sophia moved them to the box. Since Benjamin left the laundry after Sophia moved the jeans, he does not have knowledge about it. The response per se without context seems very fluent and eloquent, but the answer is actually wrong. And the reasoning is also contradictory. The second scenario is still first order, but this time is testing the false belief. Ella entered the kitchen. Carter entered the kitchen. The lemon is in the basket. Ella exited the kitchen. Carter moved the lemon to the fridge. Where will Ella look for the lemon? The correct answer should be. The basket, because she left before Carter moved the lemon. Let's see how ChatGPT responded to this question. Ella will look for the lemon in the basket because this is where it was before she exited the kitchen, and she will not know that Carter moved it to the fridge. Both the answer and the reasoning are correct. The third scenario is second order true belief. Recall the question: Where does A believe B will look for O? Alexander entered the playroom. Jack entered the playroom. The ball is in the box. Jack moved the ball to the suitcase. Alexander exited the playroom. Alexander entered the playroom. Where does Alexander think that Jack will search for the ball? The correct answer is the suitcase, because Alexander was in the room when Jack moved the ball. Let's see how ChatGPT answered. Alexander likely thinks that Jack will search for the ball in the suitcase, as Jack was the one who moved the ball there. Alexander exited playroom before Jack moved the ball and would not know the ball is in the suitcase. He may look for the ball in the last place he remember it. We should be the box. Well, ChatGPT provided two answers and two reasoning respectively in the same turn. The first answer is correct, but the reasoning is wrong. The second answer is wrong, and the reasoning somehow fits the wrong answer. Hmm. Here is the final test scenario: second order false belief. Ken entered the bathroom. Jackson entered the bathroom. The pan is in the container. Jackson exited the bathroom. Ken moved the pan to the envelope. Jackson entered the bathroom. Where does Ken think that Jackson would search for the pan? The correct answer should be the container, because Jackson was absent when the pan was moved. Here comes the response of ChatGPT. Ken likely thinks that Jackson will search for the pen in the container, as that is where the pen was before Ken moved it to the envelope. Jackson would have last seen the pen in the container before he left the bathroom, and would have no knowledge of Ken moving it to the envelope. The answer and the reasoning are both correct. So, based on the four scenarios. ChatGPT can answer and reason correctly in the first order and second order false scenario, which is when the participant was absent when the object was moved. When it comes to true belief, ChatGPT's responses are all over the place. I try to put words together, but they make no sense. Of course, we need more test data to draw a more representative conclusion, but. Based on this small experiment, I tend to argue that ChatGPT does not have much social intelligence, at least with respect to the theory of mind. It also looks like that ChatGPT doesn't know what it's talking about, which makes me question whether it has real intelligence. Back to the lack of theory of mind, one possible reason is that the data of the pre-training model. The GPT 3.5 are mostly texts for a general audience, and they are mainly from one speaker's perspective. 
It is unlike real-life interactions which often involve multiple speakers. This is how humans learn to take other people's perspective into consideration. But right now, large language models are still struggling with social intelligence. But with the rapid growth of data and training, probably AI will develop real intelligence sooner than we think. So let's just sit back, relax, and see how GPT-4 will surprise the world.